Okay, I'm starting. A little different, wasn't it? Bones of the skull, facial region. Notice the upper and lower jaw. The lower jaw is comprised of a bone known as mandible bone. There's an upper left and right maxilla. We know them uh, commonly term maxillary bones, left and right, fused together, forming the upper jaw. This goes all the way up to about right here. And we can see our cheek bone, the lateral aspect of our cheek bone known as the zygomatic bone. We saw earlier that part of this bone articulates with the temporal bone in what we call the zygomatic arch. There is a temporal process of the zygomatic bone articulating with the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. It's kind of a tongue twister. Just remember the process is named after the bone it's reaching for. Glasses would usually rest right on, a lot of people rest their glasses on this bone. This is known as your nasal bone. There's a left, little bitty bones, left and right nasal bone. Kind of articulated between the nasal bone and the maxilla, we have a small bone here known as the lacrimal bone. There's a lacrimal groove going down into a lacrimal the sulcus, which is the groove, down into the lacrimal canal, down inside there. In the midline, trying to get straight on here for you, notice in the midline we have something called a nasal septum, which is two different bones coming together. The upper and the midline, this would be the median plane or mid-sagittal plane, that is the perpendicular, perpendicular plate of this bone here, we saw this before, ethmoid bone. It sits on top of a bone at the very inferior aspect in the midline known as the vulmer bone. I will show you the vulmer from a different view. I'm going to turn the skull around for you. And you can see there are two openings here, the cornea openings. This midline structure right here in the center is the vulmer bone. We can also, since we're here, I want you to see part of the maxillary bones fused together forming the upper jaw. We call this the hard palate. The posterior aspect right here of each one, there are two bones coming together right here and here, which is part of uh, a bone that fuses the maxillary to the sphenoid bone. It is known as the palatine bone. The palatine bone is a very irregular shaped bone that has both a perpendicular and horizontal plate to it. It is a very strange bone because a small piece of it is noted in the orbit of the eye palatine bone.
Let's take a look here at the teeth. The teeth on each side, the way they are listed is both upper and lower jaw have the individual set. There are two pairs of incisors, one pair of canine teeth, two premolars, and three molars. This would be a the left and right set of each pair. One for the upper jaw, the other the lower jaw. I'm going to show you the palatine bone and how it articulates and connects together maxillary and sphenoid. This little bone here, straight on, makes a little L shape. This little part here is on the horizontal plane. That's part of the, the posterior aspect of your hard palate. This is the perpendicular plate right here. I'm going to put these together like a little puzzle. There's the hard palate. There's the orbit of the eye. That was that little piece of the palatine bone, orbit of the eye. This is a little difficult to hold together. Now, I'm going to try to show you how it articulates with the sphenoid bone right here. This would be fused. Bones fused together form what we call a synostosis, and this is in development. This is a side view, lateral, right lateral view, trying to show you The zygomatic bone, making it part of the orbit of the eye, the lateral aspect. There's the zygomatic arch, temporal bone. Temporal process of the zygomatic bone articulating with the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. I have a sagittal section, right half of a skull. This is a real model. This is actually a real skull. These are plastic models in the movie. This one has a very nice feature. The way they've opened this up in the 
side, they actually show the Christigalli right here. Now this has been broken, so it's all punched through right here. This was the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone resting on the vulmer right about here. But just to show you how thin and fragile these small bones are, and when you're in lab, and handling these be very very careful these are very fragile and they break the plastic models are a little more forgiving so just be careful and here they're just showing you inside the mastoid process little pneumatic cells inside you can even see the roots of the teeth up in the maxilla